Our association started in Mackay in 1948 and their first games were down at Queen's Park. They then moved to the Common, which is an area not known today in Juliet Street, then to Harrop Park and then to where they are now in Harney Street. The men and women were in 1948 and the foundation clubs were Magpies, Suburbs, Bucus and Camerons. Camerons are still playing, they have continued playing right through the history and Arsenal's another present club started two years after the foundation. Although the senior side started in 48 men and women, the young girls and boys started in 52 and grew to the point that in 1959 there was a separate association formed, that is the Mackay School Hockey Association, and they started their fixtures at the Vigoro Fields and then amalgamated later on to the same ground with the seniors. The grounds that you see me behind me now were leased from the council in the late 1960s. It was all scrub area, cleared and developed into seven grass fields that had a really good reputation around the state for their standard. And then in the mid 90s, we were proud to open the artificial surface. The original club room was a little shed about behind me on the same place as the one now. It had the open trough that you used to have to put the ice and the drinks in to keep it cold and the two toilets separated behind us. And it has grown in three stages to what we see now. In the early 90s, we looked at the development of a turf surface here in Mackay. Uh, it was something we had to have to keep up with the, keep our skills up for our, our elite players and whatever. And um, we looked at what other centres were doing. We knew Gympie had a sand field surface. There were wet surfaces in Brisbane. Um, Townsville had developed a sand surface at that stage, Cairns had a wet surface. Um, the injuries to players from the sand was a definite concern. Um, we took the leap and said, no, no, we're going to do a wet one, and we just went for the wet surface. Um, very much influenced, uh, one big influence on the surface here was the uh, proximity to the runway for Mackay Airport. We're only 180 metres from the end of the runway. Um, the light poles that we have are only nine and a half metres off the ground. It's a bit of a pain because we can't get really enough light out on the, on the field that we want for night time. The surface was finally completed in late September 96. Uh, we played our final series on the surface that year. Um, the development of the surface has seen quite a few players from Mackay reach at least state level and quite a few Australian players. Uh, the likes of Tracy Belbin, uh, Stephen Lambert, uh, Baden Choppy, um, Matthew Swan, there's a mood of people who've come from Mackay, Jane Bennett played in Mackay that have, have represented Australia and there's heaps of people have represented Queensland in different levels from the under 13s right through to the Masters in the in the over 70s. At present Mackay Hockey Association and Mackay School Hockey Association as a joint group we have about 1,200, 1,300 players, which is about 1% of the population of Mackay. Mackay is a, a different centre from most of the others in that we have two associations. We have a, a school-based association where the kids play for the school that they go to in the, on a Saturday morning. And then we have the senior association, which is a club-based um, association. Um, we have five clubs in Mackay at the moment. Um, the kids can play school hockey and senior hockey. Um, as long as they meet an age criteria, which is set down. Um, and we play basically from Friday afternoon through to Sunday. In Mackay, we've had a very big year this year. We've um, built, some, uh, built a big shed that uh, the clubs get storage area for, um, just hockey shops in there. Um, the association has a bay in there where we store stuff, as well as our um, regional catching director for, to store his, um, all his training equipment and stuff. Um, we purchased an ATM, um, um, it's made us heaps of money. It's really fabulous uh, benefit to us. Um, we've replaced some old gungy looking roller doors with some nice sliding glass doors, um, put solar panels on the roof. You know, that's saving us probably about a thousand dollars a month in power bills alone. We would like to put a second turf down, like everyone would, we would like to have two turfs. Um, the airport is definitely an issue with us for the second turf our location and where we are. Um, it's very cost prohibitive. Obviously a second turf is double all the costs. So we need to get more players to Mackay to justify that massive expense. Because at the end of the day, another turf 
is probably going to cost us about $2 million in this day and age. We've just got to get the message out to the community that hockey is a family orientated sport. In Mackay we have a couple of clubs that have father-son teams and mother-daughter where the whole team consists of father-sons, mother-daughters and they play together as a family and that's just the best thing ever. Mum and Dad come down, watch the kids play, they play themselves and then they go home as a happy unit and you know it's family time other than going off and doing other things it's family time where you're sitting there with your kids enjoying their youth. We've just got to get the message out to the community come and be part of the hockey family.